Hello, this is Artem from Xarel and this is a sneak peek preview of new improvements coming to the next version of Cut Plus toolset in Components Evaluation module. This module allows to export mass properties information and bounding box information from the components in the assembly into the Excel or CSV formats. Property Manager page interface has been redesigned, so now you have an option to select a filter either to use selected components, this assembly, top-level components or all components. You can also have an option to only export unique components in this assembly. This can be helpful if the information you want to include into your report is not component-specific. So, for example, something like mass, density, volume, surface area, bounding box are document-specific and not a component-specific. But something like moment of inertia is a component specific because the returned value are related to the assembly coordinate system. If the component specific mass properties needs to be exported relative to coordinate system, now you can just select that from the feature tree instead of the drop down. We have also added the material option to be included into the report. Let's continue to generate a report and we're going to include several mass properties and bounding box into the report. One of the most common enhancement requests received from the customers was an ability to include custom properties information into the report. The future version of Cut Plus toolset would allow you to do that. You can just specify the list of custom properties you want to be included into your report. So let's say description. You can also specify more than one custom property, for example, part number. So in this case, uh, for this demo, I'm just going to use description. So I can just delete this one. And once I set up my parameters, I can click green tick to start a report generation process. Report generation process has been redesigned, so now you can see the form where you can find the information about all the components being used, also their status, you can navigate to the journal tab to see the progress messages, you can also cancel the operation if you want, and you have some additional options such as expand and collapse, export reports, and a summary tab where you can find information about the process. Once finished, you are able to review the results and status, for the assembly, you can see the nested components, you can collapse or expand nodes to see the subcomponents, you can also hover your mouse to see the preview and file pass, you can expand or collapse all nodes with one button click, you can also see all the parameters you have specified to be included into your report in this data grid. User has an option to export the generated report into one of the output files, such as Excel or CSV. So just specify the name for our Excel report, click on save, and now we can open that report in the Microsoft Excel. The first column would contain the position of the component, including the level, the second one is the status, and then all of the columns we have specified in our scope. Thank you for watching this video.